Welcome. Today I'm here with the president of the Sea Service Leadership Association and this year's chair for the Joint Women's Leadership Symposium, Lieutenant Commander Rosie Gashinsky. Ma'am, thank you for joining us. Thanks a lot. Now this week, the 28th annual Joint Women's Leadership Symposium meets in San Diego, giving 400 sailors the opportunity to discuss leadership in the military and the issues that affect women and men out in the fleet. This year's theme is progress and possibilities. Embrace our future now. Ma'am, I'd like to jump in here and kind of start with, this is great for those 400 sailors out there now, but for the rest of the fleet that's not able to attend this year, why should they be interested in the symposium or, or be following it short of kind of earmarking an application for next year? Well, MC1, that's a great question. Um, last year, the Chief of Naval Personnel attended, and he heard from the sailors in attendance that they needed longer gym hours. They also needed uh, expansion at the CDC, and they also wanted to have uh, increased time and opportunity to have more time at home with their families after maternity leave. And so what happened as a result of last year's forum translated into the SECNAVS policy changes and they, he essentially brought the issues uh, to the forefront and effectively brought some proposals forward that would change those policies for people. So we, we have this dialogue so that people can come together to listen as well as affect changes for our future. That's awesome. We've been following the SECNAV changes and putting them on the show for a while now. So to think a lot of those kind of originated down at these symposiums and then kind of filtered up from there is really awesome to think about. So with that, what's next? What's going to be on tap this year? What kind of discussion threads do you see happening? So this year, um, we focused on progress and possibilities, embrace our future now. And what that is uh, focused on is the integration of women into all billets in the Navy, specifically into all operational forces as well as special forces. And we want to understand the impacts as well as moving forward, uh, the kinds of things that we can do to move, it, move ourselves forward down, down the court, so to speak. And we're going to have those sorts of discussions. It's also going to be a lot of leadership and mentorship opportunities for the folks that are in attendance from E1 to O10 have the opportunity to come there uh, and discuss, interact, as well as gain some really great perspective on things that are being discussed. Well, the symposium sounds great. So for sailors interested in applying, um, I might be getting into the FAQ section a little bit here, but it's called the Joint Women's Leadership Symposium. But I know that men are also able and encouraged to apply. So who would be your ideal candidate to come out to these symposiums? So we want anyone who's available from E1 to O10 to be able to apply and come. Uh, we need both men and women part of discussions because we believe that the strongest teams are the most diverse and they are able to make better decisions. They're also able to bring better perspective. And people that are considering potentially their career milestones or considering if the Navy is still for them and or they want to progress in their careers. And so we have found that folks that have come to this symposium, 92% of them have made a decision to stay in the Navy after leaving the symposium because they felt recharged, re-energized, and they have felt that they have, all the training that they've received has been really beneficial to their career. Wow, well, is there anything before we wrap up that you'd like to add? I would love for you all to get on sealeader.org and take the opportunity. We still have some Navy registrations that are open and available. Uh, please go on our events page and register. Click on uh, the free Navy registration and you can, you can come out to the symposium and we look forward to seeing you there. Thank you so much. Well, ma'am, thank you again for coming out and taking the time to talk to us today and enjoy the symposium. Thank you so much.